Hi friends, this is Sarvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. And today let us discuss about OSPF Hello and Dead Interval. So what is a Hello and a Dead Interval? Hello Interval is used for establishing the neighbor relationship between R1 and R2. So Dead Interval is the amount of time it wait before declaring the neighbor as a dead, right? So that is a Dead Interval. So the default Hello Interval is 10 and Dead Interval is 4 times Hello Interval always. So it will be 40 for a broadcast and a point-to-point -point network. And for default Hello Interval is 30. And the dead interval is 120 for a non-broadcast or a point to multi-point network. So these are the key points you have to remember. So we now let us go ahead and configure the routing protocol or on OSPF on R1 and R2. And let us now see the hello interval and the dead interval. And I'm going to configure manually how to configure the hello and the dead interval. So now let us go to the configuration. Let us enable the routing protocol. So router OSPF 100. And network is 192.168.1.0 followed by 0.0.0.25 followed by area 0. And similar way go to R2 and let us configure the routing protocol OSPF. Let us enable the network 192.168.1.0 followed by wildcard mask. It resides in area 0 which is the backbone area. So I configured it. So now let us go ahead and configure check the default hello interval right so we can check it go to the fast ethernet interfaces fast ethernet 0 by 0 right so go to the r1 and do a show ip ospf interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so this will give all the details like hello and the dead timer so the hello is 10 and dead is 40 that means hello interval is used for establishing the neighbor relationship so dead interval is the amount of time it will wait from the neighbor before declaring the neighbor as a dead. So that is the difference between hello and the dead. And dead interval always a four times the hello interval. And these are the designated router is already showing, right? DR and the BDR election. And it will also show the network. So network default network type is broadcast, right? So that's the reason I mentioned over here. For broadcast network and a point-to-point -point network, always the default interval is 10 and 40. So that's the thing you are seeing here. And you are able to see here also the default show IP OSPF interface faster than 0 by 0. So you are able to see the same right 10, 10 and 40 and the network is broadcast. And always keep it in mind for both R1 and R2 to form a successful neighbor relationship both should be configured with the same hello and dead interval. In case we am changing the hello and dead interval the same interval I have to configure on R2 to form a successful neighbor relationship and also the network type also should be same. Both should be in the same area and both should have the same hello and dead interval and both should support the same network type to form a successful neighbor relationship. So in case if I am configuring this as a broadcast and if I am configuring this as a, some other network non-broadcast, so this R1 will not form a neighbor relationship with R2. So these are the key points you have to remember. So now let us do, let us go ahead and configure this as a point to multi-point. So let us configure and let us see what is the default interval you are seeing go to interface mode so go to interface mode fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip ospf network is let us do it as a point to multi point right and go to r2 so here also you have to do the same thing otherwise the neighbor relationship will not form so this is in broadcast and this is in multi point so you will not see the neighbor relationship so you are able to, you are not able to see the neighbor relationship because the other end routed, I have not configured with the neighbor relation. So you are not able to see, right? So that means it already it, it went the neighbor went to downstate because this is having some other interface. Show IP OSPF interface faster than at 0 by 0. So this is having some other network that is point to multi point, and this is having some other network IP OSPF interface. So fast than at 0 by 0. So this also went to downstate, right? Because the network varies. So this here also will convert interface fast than at 0 by 0. IP OSPF network is point to multi point. So after configuring this, immediately we will see the neighbor relationship. We are able to see the state, right? Neighbor state it is changing from loading to full full state. That means it is already synchronized with the neighbor, right? Because both are in the same network. So this is also in a point to multi point, and this is also point to point to multi point. So now we can see the hello and the dead interval. It will vary. So let us see. Show IP OSPF interface. So we are able to see, right? So for a point to multi point network, the hello interval is 30, 
and always the dead interval is four times the hollow interval dead interval is 120 similarly check here so the hollow interval is 30 and the dead interval is 120 right so if you want to manually configure the hollow interval so we can do like this go to the configuration mode and interface faster than zero ip ospf hollow interval let us make it as 40 and the dead interval always for four times the hollow interval right and the dead interval make it as 160 and similar way i have to configure for r2 also so both should form, form the same hollow and the dead interval interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and ip ospf hello interval is 40 and ip ospf dead interval is 160 dead interval is 160 so i configured with the both r1 r2 the same hello and the dead interval so now you will see the successful neighbor relationship show ip ospf neighbor right it already established a neighbor relationship and similarly go here and check the neighbor list so ip ospf neighbor so it is already established a neighbor relationship and now let us see the interface show ip ospf interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so you are able to see right for it is showing 40 and dead interval is 160 and similarly see here show ip ospf interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so this is also able to see 40 and 160 so that means it is already established a neighbor relationship so this is how the hollow and the dead interval works so hollow interval is always 10 and dead interval is 40 for a broadcast and point to point so if I, since i change this to point to multi point this will be hollow interval will be 30 and dead interval is 120 so also i shown you how to configure manually the hollow and the dead interval so for r1 and r2 to form a successful neighbor relationship both should be in the same area and both should have the same hello and the dead interval and both should support the same network type i hope you understood thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos thank you have a wonderful day